Mm -hmm. So, number six, I would like to listen to Maria Paula Guarín. Give me your right answers in the exercise number five. Number six, sorry. One day. One day we uh, listen, listen to Mexican song on the radio. Uh huh. No, attention, we're listening. Why? Attention in the exam. One day we were listening to Mexican song on the red. Why? Because this word, why, represent a continuous structure, not a simple past. So that word, mientras, is a connector. This connector represents simple past, represent continuous structure. In this context, past continuous, no past simple. Seven, I would like to listen to Valerie Guerra. Seven. While we were cooking together, and I, uh -huh. and I realized and I realized I could understand all the words. Perfect. So raise your hands. Thumbs up, thumbs up. You completed the exercise like this. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine students or 19. So we have many problems in identifying the simple past and the past continuous. Onward. I realized the exercise good, but in the first exercise, uh -huh. I was a mistake. Okay, perfect. That's okay. Laura, recuerda, realize is darse cuenta. No realizar. Realizar es do. Entonces, do. I did the exercise like this. Y yo me di cuenta, I realized that. Okay. Yeah. Porque no confunde el realize como si fuera a realizar, no. Realizar. Realize es darse no? cuenta. Darse cuenta. Realize es darse cuenta. Yo me di cuenta que es estudiante. I realize that that is student. Homework for tomorrow. Y ya, Attention. Entonces, ¿Cómo se dice realizar? Do. do. Hacer. Realizar, hacer, do, hacer. Listen. Exercise number three and number four. Homework. Exercise three and four on page number 129. I'm going to write it here on the chat. Exercise three or past continuous page one hundred twenty nine. Students book for tomorrow. Homework exercise three and four past continue page one hundred twenty nine. Students book. Why? Because I observed that you have some problems in identifying the simple past, the past continuous in context. So because you understand the past simple, you estudié, past continuous, yo estaba estudiando. But at the moment when you need to, you, the teacher gives you an exercise when you have two options, or past simple or past continuous, you are, teacher, what is the correct one? Be careful what, because when you use continue, you, you can use why or when, because they are connectors that interrupt the sentence. I was playing video games when my mother called me, so I couldn't continue playing. Yes, I was preparing my lunch while uh, Susanna was calling me. Yes, so these connectors, while, when, are very common in continuous. This is a special characteristic to use the past continuous in the exam and do not make mistakes in the past continuous tense. Okay. Ready? Okay, let me see. Here, the other activity. I'm going to see my planner. Okay, in grammar, complete the history in the past, continue page number 28. Sorry? Isabella Arguello can listen. Ah, uh, seriously, but why? Maybe the problem is there, the problem of the, of the earphone. Yes, because now here is, is not the problem because the rest of the students are listening to me. Okay, but no problem, I'm going to use the chat. Complete the story. So this is the exercise, everybody. So let's go. 
This is the exercise. So everybody, let's go page number 28, exercise six. Page number 28, exercise six. This is the exercise. Continue practicing grammar. 28, exercise six. This is the exercise. Everybody with your student's book. Let me show you. This is gap fill exercise. We are going to practice gap fill. I'm going to give you exactly 10 minutes to complete it. Attention with the new vocabulary, ladies. Sunday roast. Underline the new vocabulary. Use the highlighter permanently. Do not forget it. Teacher, what page? Page number 28, exercise six. Sunday roast. Yes, this is the page. The page, the kit Thank you. with some, I don't know what is this, strawberries, grapes. I don't know what is that. But the exercise is number six, Sunday roast. Is this one? Give me some seconds. Careful with the new vocabulary, ladies. Underline, use highlighter, use the dictionary in lingua. If you have any question, ask me. Similar exercise is going to appear in the writing production section of our exam. Gap field. Face of Sara, Maria Clara, Isabel, Charik, faces, faces, ladies, that you are in class. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Gabriela, Maria Jose, Isabela Cristancho, Ana Rodriguez, faces, that you are in class. Valentina Mateos, did you finish? Continuo. Valentina. Continuo. Gabriela, we Sofia, perfect. You finish very fast. Easy is perfect as well. So you finish. Thumbs up, Anna, perfect. Diana, perfect. Oh my goodness, you are flying in grammar. Congratulations. Excellent, Laurita Godoy. Perfect. How about Sharik? How about the rest of the ladies? Come on. Isabel, quickly. Excellent, Aura. Annie, perfect.
Mm -hmm. Okay, ladies, listen to me. Uh, homework, complete the exercise three and four on page number 129. Also, study the vocabulary, the new vocabulary. Excellent, Sharik. Study the new vocabulary that you are observing in the different exercises in the class. Tomorrow, we are going to make an analysis of this exercise and we are going to overtake uh, in this explanation, okay? So what is the idea? The idea is that you dominate very well the simple past and the past continuous structure at the moment when I give you the exam, yes? So for tomorrow, exercise three and four on page number 129, homework number two, analysis of the exercise number six, on page number 28. So tomorrow we are going to make the analysis of this exercise, okay? So ladies, eh, I'm going to say to you, finish class for today, recommendation for the rest of the students, please keep studying vocabulary, don't stop. Don't stop because the exam number one, second third is long. It's a little bit more difficult than the other one. And I did that everybody pass those exams, okay? So my recommendation is keep studying vocabulary especially the vocabulary that we watch in the text number three and also the vocabulary that we are studying in this unit number two. Is it clear? So perfect ladies, we finished class for today. Um, so see you tomorrow if God will. So keep studying vocabulary, keep practicing a lot. So bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Bye. God bless you. Bye.